G'day mates. Today I'll teach you how to set up and sync a Sleep HQ O2 ring with our brand new Sleep O2 app. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Inside the box is a card. Start here with a QR code. Just scan that QR code. It will take you to a page with all the instructions and all the app links. Saves you looking around for them. And then inside the box, Turing and also our USB charging cable. First things first, we need to charge the ring. It will have some charge on it, but we'll charge it up to full. So peel down the little flap on the back and just plug in the micro USB C. The other end here is just a standard USB. Charging takes about three hours, and once charged, the ring should last between 12 to 16 hours. I recommend charging each day prior to use. Once the ring is fully charged, we can then place it on our thumb or one of our fingers. I wear mine on my thumb. I find that most comfortable, just slide it on. But if you have big fingers, you might have to wear it on one of your smaller fingers. Just find a finger where it's comfortable, where it's not too tight, not too loose. The ring will automatically turn on when you place it on your thumb or finger and vice versa when you take it off. It will automatically turn off and sync to your app. Now on top of the ring, we have an OLED screen that will cycle through the blood oxygen levels and heart rate so you can instantly see exactly what's going on. We also have a little button here we can tap which will show you the time and the battery level on the ring. Now we'll connect the O2 ring via Bluetooth to our brand new Sleep O2 app. Okay, to start, let's scan the QR code. Now, because I'm using an iPhone, I'll choose iOS app. If you're using an Android phone, you'll choose Android app. I can now download the Sleepo2 app to my phone. The first time you open the app, you'll receive a notification. Sleepo2 would like to use Bluetooth. Click OK. Now just click Connect O2 Ring. Just make sure your ring is on your finger and then click your ring, connected. Then just swipe down from the top. Now because my ring already has some data on the ring, on the hard drive on the ring, it will load that into the app itself. So it's downloading two of three nights right now. So currently we're on the history tab and this is where you can view your O2 pulse rate movement data directly inside the Sleep O2 app, which is completely free. So you can see here, I've got a few files here, the 30th of November, 2022, 27th of November, and another one from the 27th of November as well. So let's have a look at the 30th of November. I'll just click that. Now up the top, we have some statistics. Then we have our SpO2, which is our blood oxygen levels. If I pinch and zoom on the graph, you can see I can zoom in to an area that's not looking too good. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. Room for improvement, that's what I always say. And then once again, we can scroll down as well and have a look at it. Zoom in on our heart rate. And then we've also got our motion data there. Now, if we go across to the heart tab, we can view our blood oxygen level and heart rate in real time. And you can also see that there's a color gradient going from red to orange to green. And obviously you wanna be in the green zone. We can also see up in the top right, the battery indicator. Now let's move across to the settings tab and I'll run you through them. Now at the very top of the settings tab, it says Sleep HQ Connect Now. So Sleep HQ is our CPAP data analytics and reporting platform. And those of you with pro paid memberships can connect up your Sleep HQ account via the Sleep O2 app and import all this data to view alongside your CPAP therapy data. So if you have a Sleep HQ Pro account, just click connect now and just log in with your Sleep HQ credentials. And now we're connected. In the morning when I take off my ring and the data downloads to the app, the app will then push up that data to my Sleep HQ account so I can view it alongside my CPAP therapy results. That's how that works. Next up, we have the custom alerts so that if my blood oxygen level drops below a certain point, or my pulse rate goes below or above a certain threshold, I get a custom alert. The ring will vibrate or my phone will vibrate. Let's take a look. So 
Okay, SpO2 alerts, this is the blood oxygen. I'm gonna choose alert on ring, so the ring vibrates. And I'll set my SpO2 threshold at 90% based on my graph previously. Now, I've had a bit of trouble with my heart rate lately. The other night, she went rocketing up to about 200 BPM. So I'm gonna set a, a pulse rate alert. I'm gonna set a high pulse rate alert at 150. And you can also set a low pulse rate alert as well if your heart rate drops below a certain level. So I've got here 50 BPM to 150 BPM. Down from this, we have the ring settings, starting with vibration strength. So that's the vibration from the ring. And we've got five levels of vibration from very weak to very strong. So if you're someone who's difficult to wake, you'll obviously need a strong to very strong level of vibration to alert you that you've reached one of those thresholds. So it's quite strong, that's as strong as it goes. Whereas very weak, it's just a real gentle vibration. I've just had a thought, maybe, maybe we can use these rings for something other than sleep apnea. What do you reckon, fellas? All right, <laughs> moving on. And then we've got our LCD mode. So that's the LCD screen here to have it always on. If you have it always on, it will drain the battery quicker. Always off or automatic. I suggest leaving it on automatic. We've got the LCD brightness, low, medium, high. Once again, depending on how you set it, it will drain the battery a little bit more if it's on high. And then we've got the date and time settings. So it says here, set ring date and time, use iPhone's date, and you can just click set, or you can use a custom date if you want as well. Then down below, we've got disconnect ring, and also restore ring to factory settings. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to join the O2 revolution, start tracking your blood oxygen levels, your heart rate, your movement, and combine all that great data with your CPAP therapy results, I'll put some links in the description down below. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon, bye. G'day mates, this video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere.